Um, I'm Gwen and this is the tutorial for Introduction to Long String Flow Wand. Uh, this course is designed for people who have tried short string at least a little bit. Uh, so if you've never picked up a flow wand before, you might want to go see some of our other excellent flow wand tutorials first and then come back. Um, let's start out with some basics about gear. Um, how much string? There are different schools of thought on this. When I started out, I used to say about both string length was where I started. Um, Sorry. So if I were an archer, I think if I had better archery form, this is not what I would be doing. Um, as I've gotten more experience with long string, I've let the string out until it's about this long. Uh, there is a school that says double arms length. Um, we'll cover that in a second. Um, there's also several styles of anchoring it. I do a hand anchor. As you can see, I have a very nice finger grip on the end of this wand. Um, that's what I like. There is another style. This is the style that goes with the longer string where you just put it around your neck. Um, that gives you greater freedom of movement in some ways. You can kind of let it go and let it go. Uh, just spin it around, no hands. I don't like the way it feels. So I go with hand grip. Um, what's, what's up next? Wrap grip. Wrap grip. Okay, so there's several basic types of grip that we're going to start out with. Uh, the first and most simple one is wrap grip. Wrap grip, I just wrapped that thing around my hand. This is a really good, um, when you're doing this, you want it to go down in the back and then up in the front. And then down in the back, up in the front, down in the back, up in the front. Um, until you get to what would be about a normal short string flow, like, flow one. Like, um, and then you're just going to drop it down, just like that in between. I do it between these two fingers, sometimes between those two fingers. It's a matter of comfort, whatever is comfortable for you. So what we have here now is a short string flow wand. If you spun short string flow wand, this is great news, because this is a good way to get started with long string. Just let it go, just like it's a normal short string wand. Start spinning it, uh, and gradually you can start letting out wraps. A little bit, I'm going to do this a little fast for the sake of not boring y'all. Um, and then you've got this lovely long string wand. Um, then you can start wrapping it. You can wrap it back up around the single hand. The easiest way to do this is just up above your head. You can unwrap it again. Um, so that's your basic wrap grip. You can also do it around two hands. Get a nice prayer hands thing going on. Um, one of the nice things about prayer hands is if you've done it loosely enough, you can just kind of go bonk and it's gone. Um, you're back to long string. Uh, so that's wrap grip. Does it say anything else there? Just practice wrapping and unwrapping. Yeah. All right. Um, so next up is V grip. This is the grip I use the most, um, and there's going to be several variations on it. V grip, very simply, is you've got it anchored on your wand hand. That's a nice tangle in there. Um, anchored on your wand hand like normal. Uh, your other hand is just right here. It's resting between your thumb and your forefinger. You can see that nice little V. Uh, this is a very loose grip. It allows you to play a lot. Um, so you can shift control back and forth between hands. You can see um, I'm not controlling it with my what left hand, I'm not controlling it with my right hand, I'm controlling it with both hands. You can try things like this simple back and forth tick-tock pendulum. If you keep your hands together at the same distance, it ends up looking very different than if you're bringing them closer and further apart. You get sorts of different, very liquid strings, liquid and elastic effects. Um, V-grip is also good for starting out and recovery. Um, if I've lost track of this wand, um, you gotta grab it somehow, because once your wand's tumbling, there's no way to stop it other than grabbing it. This would be a problem. This hurts. Trust me on this one. Um, and as you can see, because the wand is vertical a lot, fire goes high. So these parts of your wand, if you're burning, are hot. You do not want to grab them. The way to avoid that is use V-grip. So I got my wand tumbling. Oh man, how am I gonna grab this? You just get your finger right in there with the string. Slide it right on up. It's going to take you to the middle every time. Um, so that is, in addition to being useful for lots of other reasons, it's very helpful from a safety perspective if your wand gets away from you. Um, it's also an easy way to get started with long string if you don't want to start wrapped up in wrap grip. Um, you can start with the full length of string and just slowly slide it out so that you can help maintain that control. Um, the next thing about V-grip um, is locked V-grip. Um, V-grip is great for just planting the hand that the wand is actually attached to somewhere. Right now it's just planted right here. It's not moving. Now I really am controlling it with my other hand, but it's a nice, very loose control. It's very easy to switch hands. If I want to go back to the other hand, I can just unwrap. Um, you can also do that planted in your front. I like to do my hand on the hip here. 
you know, and this is a nice way to temporarily switch control, which can be a really good performance thing as far as people not knowing what on earth is going on, which is one of the charms of Flow Wand. Um, so you can lock V-grip like that. Um, something else to do when you've locked your V-grip behind your back like this. Um, you can have magic levitating wand. I know it's already a magic levitating wand, but it can be even better. Just like that. Um, what's going on here? If you can see behind my back, that's all. Just pulling that arm down. People cannot see this, so it looks lots of fun. Uh, the other major variant of V-grip is a double V-grip. Um, this is a nice way to get rid of a lot of slack quickly. So I've got it in a single V. You're actually going to catch it with that same, with the hand that's attached to the one. You see we've got like a Z going on here, kind of like a cat's cradle. Now I've got a very short string that I can just let it go again, and it's on long string. So let me show you what that looks like without stopping in the middle. I've got a single V. Hook it with your thumb. Now I've got a double V. I'm going to knock my wand, so I'm going to try that one more time. Single V. Hook it with your thumb. You've got a double V, very short string. You can, again, pull it apart, and you can just let it go. And that's the end of that. Um, what else? Palm spin. Palm spin. Palm spin is your friend. Palm spin looks like this. Palm spin, in addition to just being really impressive, is an excellent recovery move. Because when you've had to just grab your wand, now you have your wand in your hand. Um, so you gotta do something that looks like you mean it, otherwise it's gonna be really obvious that you've just messed up. Uh, so you can do a flourish, you can do all sorts of things, but I like doing palm spins. So what's happening here? Um, to do this, you either need to have your wand on a swivel, like I do, just a little bit there that moves back and forth so that it doesn't get tangled, or you need to remember to do it in both directions. Um, all that's happening here is I've got it in a very close V-grip, there's a little bit of extra slack there. I'm giving it a spin and keeping my hand out of the way. That's it. This takes a little bit of practice, but once you've got it, it's just spin it, keep your hand out of the way. Um, it's very hard to change planes in this. If I do that, I'm going to hit myself. But you can just sort of, as long as you keep the plane, you can walk with it, you can start doing flowers. We're going to cover more of these in the intermediate class. Um, so palm spin, great recovery move. Um, one more fun move, this one involves the V-grip. Um, I like to call it air guitar. So it looks like air guitar. Bam! Um, and what this is, it's um, a little bit tighter than your normal V-grip. I've got it cinched in there so that it stays in place. Um, and you get it started moving. And then I'm actually powering it with this hand. Um, so once it starts spinning and goes up and over, I'm this, this down motion is what's keeping it moving. In addition to being theatrical, this is how I'm powering it. So that's air guitar. Um, anything else on there? No, that's it. Oh wait, lock grip. Uh -huh. Totally forgot about lock grip. So lock grip, I don't use it very much, but it's a good thing to know. Um, lock grip is when I take my other hand and just lock it. So now I can have all this slack here, and I've still got it locked on the other hand. So you, if you want your hands to move really independently, this is something you can do. What did I do? Um, what happened here is I went in, reached like this, pulse, fingers on the pulse of it, wrap around two fingers, then wrap it one more time around one finger. So now I've got it a nice little grip here, and it's anchored. If you want it more secure, you can wrap it again. And just like with other wrap grips, you can toss it out, and it's gone. Um, so that's lock grip. So what did we cover? Um, we covered sort of basic flow wand stuff, and then three major families of grips. First is wrap grip. You can wrap and unwrap. Wrap, unwrap, and this is a good way to get started. Again, if you're coming from short string, you can also wrap around both hands. Um, we covered V grip. This is the one I use the most. This is the very fluid grip that lets you switch control. Um, we covered anchored V grip, which is again when you just clench the hand that the one's actually attached to and just use your V grip with the other hand. Um, and then we covered lock grip. And we also covered using V grip as a recovery move, since I've knocked my wand. Just slide right along that string. You got it, and this will keep you safe and happy while you're burning. Thanks a lot, y'all. Have a good day.